Let us start today. JE mains problems. As you know that one problem is compulsory for JE mains. If you observe 2020 and 2019, in each and every question paper consists of one limit problem. Of course, the complex problems uh, with the differentiation, with the continuity, uh, with other uh, components, uh, the problem may be like that. But here, some extra conditions we need in each and every problem. If we prepare one problem, connectivity problems should be done. Then only you can cover the problems in the examination. Here, first I will solve this problem. Connecting these problems, I will give you many. Here, the first problem in JE main, that is 51 problem, n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus m by m square. You cannot identify this is infinity by infinity or uh, 0 by 0 like that. Of course, if you put n equal to infinity, 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on n by n square, limit n tends to infinity. You know this is the sum of natural numbers, that is sigma m by n square. This is equal to limit as n tends to infinity. Sigma m means n into m plus 1 by 2m square. You know this. Sigma m is the sum of first natural numbers n into n plus 1 by 2 and this m square. 1m is cancelled. This is 1 by 2 taken out limit as n tends to infinity m plus 1 by n m plus 1 by n this is 1 by 2 into just now we have seen the previous problems in yesterday's class that is day 5 this nth coefficient, this is the first degree, this is the first degree as n tends to infinity. So its coefficient is the answer, therefore 1 by 1, this is 1. Or otherwise, divide by m. n by m is 1, 1 by 1 plus m. This is 1 by 2 into 1 plus as n tends to 1 by n becomes 0, therefore this answer is 1 by 2 is the right answer. From this we adopt some problems. Once the problem is given, limit n tends to infinity, 1 power 99 plus 2 power 99 plus 3 power 99 plus n power 99 by n power 100. There is no formula for that. For this is sigma n. After you can write sigma m square, sigma m cube, after that we don't have formula. That's why 52 limit as n tends to infinity 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so on plus n square by n cube. This is the limit as n tends to infinity. This is sigma n square by n cube. This is 1 by 3. Observe here 2, 3, 1, 2, 1 by the denominator power is right, that is direct answer. And 53 limit 
as n tends to infinity 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube so on plus n cube by n power 4 this is the limit as n tends to infinity sigma n cube by n power 4 therefore this is 1 by 4 and t4 limit as n tends to infinity 1 power 99 2 power 99 3 power 99 so on plus n power 99 by n power 100 this is 1 by 100 thus you can write any problem the difference should be only 1 the answer will be 1 by denominator power is the answer 1 by power of the denominator limit as n tends to infinity 1 by 1 minus n square 1 by 2 by 1 minus n square 3 by 1 minus n square so on plus n by 1 minus or n square this is limit as n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus n by 1 minus n square because the denominator is the same the numerator 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on n this is the limit as n tends to infinity this is sigma n by 1 minus n square n power 1 n square therefore what is the answer minus 1 by 2 but here the coefficient is minus 1 and hence that is minus 1 by 2 and 56 if sigma r equal to 0 to n 2r minus 1 in 2r minus 1 equal to x square then limit as n tends to infinity 1 cube by x square plus 2 cube by x square plus 3 cube by x square plus so on plus n cube by x square this is given in previous examination sigma r equal to 0 to n 2r minus 1 equal to x square then limit enters to infinity 1 cube by x square plus 2 cube by x square plus 3 cube by x square plus 1 n cube by x square as you know that this is sum of odd natural numbers if you put r equal to r equal to 1 you get to 1 if you put r equal to 2 3 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on this sigma expansion value 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on sum of odd, odd natural numbers is n square equal to x square therefore n power 4 equal to x power 4 n power 4 equal to this is sigma r varies from 1 to n 2 r minus 1 equal to x therefore sum of odd natural numbers is n square equal to x now if you square in on both sides x square equal to n power 4 therefore this problem can be written as limit as n tends to infinity 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube so on plus n cube by x square because denominator is same for all 
and this is the limit as n tends to infinity sigma n cube by x square equal to n power 4 therefore according to our previous concept sigma n cube by n power 4 equal to Now the next problem fifty seven. The given problem is limit x tends to infinity x minus sin x by x plus cos square. Here, divide by x both numerator and denominator. Under the root, you divide both numerator and denominator by x. x by x1 minus sin x by x by x by x1 plus cos square x by x. You see, as x tends to infinity, sin x by x, as x tends to infinity, sin x by infinity, but sin x lies between minus 1 and plus 1. Therefore, a finite value by infinity becomes 0. A finite value, sin x lies between minus 1 and plus 1. A finite value by infinity equal to uh, 0 that is 1 minus 0 by x. A finite value lies between my 0 and 1 because cos square x minimum 0 maximum 1. It lies between 0 and 1. A finite value by infinity this is also 0 1 yes. And if you come to the next problem limit as x tends to infinity 2 plus x whole power 40 4 plus x whole power 5 by 2 minus x whole power 45 by observing we write the answer numerator decrease numerator degree x power 40 plus 5 numerator degree equal to 40 plus 5 45 x power 40 the highest degree x power 5 highest degree x power 45 denominator degree equal to minus x whole power 45 means this is also 45 Therefore, what is the answer? Coefficient of numerator degree. What is the coefficient of numerator degree? X. That is 1. Why? What is the coefficient of X denominator degree? Minus 1. Therefore, answer is minus 1. This is as limit extends to 1 root of 1 minus cos 2 into x minus 1 by x minus 1. This is limit as x tends to 1. You write a formula is well known to you. 1 minus cos 2x is 2 sin square x. 1 minus cos 2x is 2 sin square x. 2 sin square x, x means x minus 1 by x minus 1. This is root 2 limit as x tends to 1. Root 2 limit x tends to 1. Generally, 
you write root of sin square x minus 1 is sin x minus 1. It's not so. Whenever under the root, we have to consider mod. It is either plus or minus. Sin of x minus 1 by x minus 1. You know, sin x by x is 1. But previously we did limit x tends to 0 mod x by x does not exist. Therefore, its left limit is minus 1. Here, LHL equal to root 2 into minus 1 minus root 2 and RHL equal to root 2 into plus 1 root 2. Why this is minus 1 and x tends to 1 minus left limit. If you take 1 minus modulus of sin x minus 1 becomes minus of sin x minus 1 that is tan into 1 minus 1 and if it is x tends to 1 plus modulus of sin x minus 1 becomes sin x minus 1 by x minus 1 1 root 2 1 therefore LHL is not equal to RHL limit does not exist that is option D limit as x tends to 0 sin nx a minus m into nx tan x by x square equal to c. Then what is the value of a? That is the question. Limit as x tends to 0 sin nx by x sin nx by 1x remaining x can be written as a minus m into m minus tan x by x once again 1x I have taken to this place sin nx by x a minus n into nx by x, x x cancel minus tan x by x. Now this is standard thing, sin nx by x is n. There is no x that is directly equal by it. This is standard limit 1. Tan x by x is standard limit that is 1. This is n square into a minus n. Now, one n is cancelled. Therefore, a minus n into n minus 1 for this case. a minus n equal to 1 by n. a equal to n plus 1 by n. So, a equal to n plus 1 by n. Option D.